Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kiki Morbido, and today we are doing a full face of pharmacy makeup. My mom actually sells this makeup, and before she started selling it, I have never heard of it. No one I knew has ever heard of it. It's actually new to the United States. I believe it's only been here maybe one or two years. It's a European company, and when she found out about it and tried it and fell in love with the products, she decided that she wanted to sell it. And I'm so proud of my mom because it's definitely out of her comfort zone, but she's killing it. She's doing a great job. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do a full face of makeup and share it with you guys so you can fall in love with it too. So I will have all the links down below to number one, go ahead and sign up on her Facebook page. She does giveaways on there and shares all the information about the company and the products and to the website so you can shop anything you like here or just check out the website and shop other items that would be great and if you're new to my channel please consider hitting the subscribe button we just hit 4,000 subscribers I am so grateful for each and every one of you I'm blown away and I'm cloud nine today so thank you guys so much and let's jump into today's video which is a full face of pharmacy makeup Okay, let's get started. So I have tried about half of these products and the other half are brand new to me. So it's kind of going to be a first impressions, which I love doing. Okay, so the first thing I have not tried and it's their Pharmacy VFX Pro Primer and there are really good reviews about this. So it's kind of that like silicone um, jelly texture. Um, feels really good. Oh, it reminds me of something. Maybe the e.l.f. primer? Hmm feels really nice. So this claims to be like a photo filter technology to kind of fill in pores and overall just to keep your makeup lasting all night long. So next is foundation and this is what made me absolutely fall in love with this brand and their products. So this is the Pharmacy VFX Pro Foundation and it also has that photo filter technology so i think these you know go hand in hand together and this says for a retouch skin visual effect it is a full coverage foundation but it's very like skin like so it's not super matte and that's what i love i do not like a super matte foundation so for being full coverage plus like a natural finish i fell in love and i was like yes i need to order more so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over the skin Okay, so this is the foundation and as you can tell like it's just very um, natural there is somewhat of a sheen to it which I think is so beautiful but it's full coverage it's covering up everything I love this, this is definitely my new favorite foundation so I'm really excited about that so the next is the concealer and this is the pharmacy full coverage liquid concealer and I have not tried this yet so I'm excited to see um, if this actually covers up and works, so it's just a little doe foot applicator. And we will see what she does. Okay. Alright, let's blend her out. her out and I definitely would not call this a full coverage concealer like I feel like I can still um, see some darkness under my eyes so I would not call it full coverage I would say it's more of a medium coverage but what I like about it is it's a lightweight formula it is not thick at all I don't like the concealer so I am not a tart shape tape fan which I know is very shocking because it's like the unpopular opinion but I like a more thinner consistency and so I like that about it. Um, it definitely brightened up the under eye area and like lightened up the rest of my face, which is great. Um, but it's not very full coverage, but I, uh, I want to say it's $9. I'm going to have all the prices on the screen. But I do think it's a really pretty like everyday kind of concealer sort of thing. Um, 
So yeah, not mad at it. Okay, so the next product is the Pharmacy Makeup BB Soft Focus. So it's just a powder, I believe. This is my mom's. Um, I borrowed it from her because I didn't buy a powder. But I've not tried it out, so it's just supposed to be a BB powder. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of like, if you know me, I don't really like to set my face with powder. I'm not a powder person. Um, but I do sometimes, like when special events and stuff like that I will powder my face so I think I'm gonna start with just my under eyes right now and kind of see how that looks and just set the concealer down oh that's really nice wow that's smooth mmm it's really nice actually some powders like feel like super thick on the face, you know. This does not. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like lightly go around my face. Might as well, just so we can see the effect. I don't have like a nice powder brush. I just kind of <laughs> doing this. I know. I'm such a professional, aren't I? Oh, that is pretty. Wow. Hmm. That is really pretty. It definitely mattified everything. Everything looks nice and even. Okay, moving on, I am in desperate need of some bronzer. I'm feeling very white and ghostly, and I'm not a fan of that. So, this is new to me as well, and it's the 3-in-1 Face Palette. And you open it up, and there is a bronzer, highlight, and a blush. And I'm going to go ahead and use that bronzer right now to kind of give my face some life and contour and all of that. It's definitely a matte shade, and also it's more on the cooler side. It's not super warm, which is really good for um, contouring. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Hmm. Really pretty. Okay, we are done with bronzer and I'm really loving it. It blended out wonderful and it's a really pretty shade. It's like, it looks more in the cool tone, like in the pan, but it's coming off a little bit more warm, which I love for summer. So really pretty. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so if you know me, I am a huge blush girl. I love bright blushes, pinks. I just feel like they really complete your face and I never used to be a blush girl which is so funny I would never ever wear blush for like years I would just do bronzer and then I discovered blush and the addiction set in okay so the blush I am going to use is just like their little pots of um blush and this is in the shade tender the light is really like dimming it down but it is kind of this like really bright coral shade the light is really not helping it um but it is so pretty in the pan and so i'm really hoping that it is just as gorgeous on the cheeks so let me get my blush brush and throw her on i kind of go heavy hand of blush so we will see <gasps> oh my gosh i hope it's coming off on camera because this in person is so pretty I really don't own any coral blushes mm, I love this oh my gosh so there is no I oh I see a little bit of a sheen to it a little bit so not a ton no glitter or anything but super pretty coral blush like I think this is the perfect summer shade highlight so I actually own a highlight palette from them and I really really love it and I'll show it to you okay so it's just the highlighter palette and it has three shades here so this is like more of a bronzy golden one this is a light kind of cream yellowy shade and this one is a pink shade and the way I wear it is I mix these two shades I don't really mess with the pink but these two shades is really really beautiful and when I'm very tan I do this one only however in that three-in-one um, palette with the blush and bronzer this shade is kind of in between those two like a mix so I'm gonna try that out because I have not tried that yet so we will see how she performs oh yeah that is really pretty very very pretty and it's not chunky glitter you know how sometimes like cheaper um highlighters have a lot of like 
excess glitter to it this is more of like a dewy sheen which is my favorite so I really like this really really pretty okay our skin is looking really really pretty I'm loving the way that it is looking right now very very pretty so now we're gonna move on to our eyes and let's start with brows I don't know if I have a brow product from them hmm what is this oh eyebrow mascara is that the only one I have yeah okay so we just have an eyebrow mascara um I'm not like very familiar with how to use products like this because I don't ever use it but let's see okay so it's just like one of those like spoolies you guys know what I'm talking about but I'm never sure like do you do this after you fill in your brows and then set it do you do this first I don't know not funny I don't know that I think I'm gonna go ahead and just try it on its own and see like what it does um we shall see probably should have pluck my eyebrows a little bit okay oh it's definitely wow it's very pigmented like it's giving a lot of pigment hmm hmm I feel like it's filling in my brows a lot. Oh. Okay, so this is my brows with just like one coat on each of the eyebrow mascara. And I feel like this is a great product for like quick on the go um, where you're rushing. You don't have time to do like a super defined brow. Like it really did fill in my brows and darken them up a little bit. So I do like it. But I'm going to go ahead and wait for them to dry and then kind of fill in my brows with my normal brow product just to define them out just a little bit and then I'll come back. Okay, moving on to eyeshadow. I first have the Pharmacy Makeup Eye Primer and it's just like in a little pot reminds me of like mac paint pot or whatever um and i'm just gonna take my finger dip it in and put it on i've never tried this before but i'm actually not a big eye primer person i just use concealer and feel like it works just as good but if you're into a primer here's one for you okay so we have our primer down and then i have two options for us for eyeshadow so this is the Long Last Creamy Eyeshadow Pot in Orange Pop, which is very orange, like extremely, extremely orange. Um, I feel like I'm going to play around with that just a little bit. And then I have this Trio Eyeshadow Kit in Vintage Season. Really pretty. Um, this shade in the middle is like a nutmeg, more of like a creamy taupe, and then a beautiful like burgundy. So I feel like with all three, I might be able to create something pretty cool all of these are a shimmer so i'm gonna go back to the face palette so i'm gonna go ahead and take the matte bronzer and just throw that into my crease just to have a transition shade down yeah like in the summertime i feel like this is all i do is i just throw on a bronzer into my crease and call it a day so it gives my eyes like a little bit of definition but okay moving on i'm gonna go ahead and take that middle shade here i don't know if there's a name to it I don't think so but I'm gonna go ahead and take that on my finger and oh it's very pigmented oh that's pretty and just go ahead and throw that down all over that is a really pretty shade it's not super pigmented but I don't really care about eyeshadows not being crazy pigmented because I feel like you can always put on more, but you cannot put on less. So, sometimes it's a good thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that orange pop. Ooh, it's like jelly, like mousse-like. And we're going to put that in the center. And let it see what, um, what happens here. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm. It's, again, it's not as pigmented as, like, I thought it was going to be. I mean, let's double it up here. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to try and keep that in the center. Okay, so I just went ahead and did the whole lid. Um, it was getting kind of messy, like, trying to keep it in the center. So I just went over the whole lid. And the combination of those two colors really is beautiful. I love that. It's kind of like a 
deeper bronze shade which is gorgeous for the summertime so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then i'll come back okay so i have the eyeshadow on it looks really really pretty and all i'm gonna do is just go ahead and take my own like dark brown and just hit those outer corners really quick um just to smoke it out a tad i am not being super neat with this at all <laughs> i am so lazy when it comes to eyeshadow i used to be so particular and use scotch tape and it would be so perfect and now i'm like oh who has time for that <laughs> okay moving on we have eyeliner and their eyeliner pen is one of my favorites i was so excited when i finally found an eyeliner pen that like is dark and matte and doesn't smudge and I love it and I feel like I talked about this in a monthly favorites video if I'm not mistaken but it's just the pharmacy ink liner eyeliner pen um I love these these are the only kind of pens like I use or eyeliners that I use is like in a pen form I don't know I just feel like it's the only kind that really like works for me and I can get precise so I'm gonna go ahead and do like a quick little wing and I'll be back okay so there is my winged liner i seriously love this pen it is just it's good i don't know what i'll say about it it's very good i really love it i i've tried a lot of eyeliner pens and this one is by far one of my favorites so this i've not tried yet it's the waterproof express eyeliner pencil in black and i'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bit on my lower lash line i feel like i've not done lower lash line eyeliner in a very long time um I don't know I just I don't know I kind of like just stopped doing it and I feel like my eyes look a lot brighter and wider but sometimes like when I go out and stuff which I haven't gone out in like three months because of quarantine but this gives you more of like a little sultry look so we'll see Ooh, that's dark wow that went on like extremely easy there was no tugging i didn't have to pull my eye my eye down wow again another product i really love that went on so easy like it was very creamy it's waterproof like it's not even like a lot of times like my eyes instantly it'll start like coming down and this is not even doing that really so i'm impressed if you guys watch my videos you guys know i rave about this mascara all the time and it is the zen mascara it is so good. I don't even, I can't explain it, but I feel like it is like a magnet to your lashes. There's like such a unique, um, well, it's a unique brush. I don't know if you can even tell, but it's like bigger on one side and like smaller on the other. But it just feels like a magnet on your eyelash. Like it goes whoop and then like, I, I don't know, that sounds silly, but it, it works amazing. Um, so I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes. My mom raves about their curling wand and I don't have that. So maybe that's my next purchase. Eyelash curler is missing. So we're not curling our lashes today, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on. I mean, you can just tell from the first couple coats, like it just, not coats, but swipes. It just like, I don't know it adheres to your lashes and just so good like it just gives it so much volume and length and I'm obsessed is it just me or like when you're almost done with your makeup you're like so excited to put your lipstick on because it just completes the entire look and pulls everything together like every time I'm doing my mascara or putting my lashes on I'm like oh I get to do lipstick next I don't know I just love it because it completes everything and it's so pretty okay so here's two coats of the mascara it is so pretty and I didn't even curl them and they still look curled so that's a win okay moving on to our last and final step which is lipstick I have fallen absolutely in love with their lip liners and I have two of my own um, and then I have two lipsticks of their oh sorry I just kicked it I have two liquid lipsticks so I don't know which one I'm gonna try Okay, so the lip liners are just like a little crayon one, and this is in the shade, I don't think there's names on these, but it's 227. It's definitely like a, I don't know, like a chocolatey brown, like it's definitely the darkest lip liner I've ever used. Um, but don't be afraid of dark liners because you can always smudge it out and it gets lighter. But this is like the browniest one they had. And then the two liquid lipsticks we have, I've never tried this one, but this is an 01 
and this is in 201 i don't i thought there was i know this is skin this is skin and this is definitely like a nude nude um shade which if you know me i love nude colors and then this one looks more of like a um pink like a oh yeah that's pretty like a rosy pink or a mauvey pink i should say okay you know what we're gonna do we're just gonna do them all we're gonna do them all and just layer and layer because that's what i like to do i'm gonna go ahead and do the liner real quick like one of the best lip liners I've ever used it's just super creamy and matte and I love it so let's go ahead and put this shade on I wish I knew the name of it but it just says oh one I will obviously tell you down in the description box what the name is but let's try this These are such like a lightweight formula, which I really do love. And so I just feel like it it's already like dry. It's awesome. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and put skin on top. So that way it kind of lightens up. And this is more of a beigey, warm tone nude, which is not in my comfort zone. I go for more cool tone nudes. But I think this is going to really kind of like bring in that lip liner to be more warm and kind of correlate nicely uh-huh oh yeah okay that's beautiful <laughs> Did I just create a new favorite lip combo? Mm-hmm, I did. And there we have it, everyone. This is my full face of pharmacy makeup. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy with this look. I think it would look even better with a pair of false lashes on, but I am fresh out, and that's okay. I'm literally going to take my kids outside and jump in the pool, so... <laughs> this is just all for you in the video but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed learning about pharmacy makeup remember to go check out my mom's facebook page down below she's actually going to be doing an online party soon i don't have the definite date of that but go ahead and add yourself to her group she would love it i would love it like i said there's giveaways on her page and you'll learn a lot more about the company and the products and all the links to buy any of the products that i talked about today will be down below as well so thank you guys again have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.